Good morning, my dear children. Welcome to today's class. Today we are going to discuss the first lesson in your supplementary reader moments. Okay, so what is the first lesson? The Lost Child by Mulkraj Anand. Okay, so the first lesson uh, from moments, the book moments, and it is written by Mulkraj Anand. He was he is a very famous Indian writer in english okay so the title of the story is the lost child so here i'm going to say the summary of the story so all of you listen very carefully okay the lost child it was the spring fair so it was the spring season and a fair is going on okay what is the meaning fair fair is a place in which uh, there will be shows like magic circus and there will be games. There will be different stalls to sell different items. Okay. Uh, uh, rides will be there like a giant wheel, merry-go-round like that. Okay. So, uh, that is a fair. All the people were going to it. So, all the people from that village going to the place where the fair is going on. Some walked. Some rode on horses, some in bullock carts. So, how they are going? Some people are walking, uh, some are riding on horses and some are going in bullock carts. The little child ran with his parents. So, the child, our uh, main character of the story, the child also coming to the village fair. <coughs> he was overjoyed. Okay, he was overjoyed he was very happy when he remained behind his father asked him to come so he was watching the surroundings and coming slowly so uh, uh, his parents were far ahead than him okay so when he remained behind his father called him okay come come fast he remained behind to see the toys in the shops. Why he uh, uh, remained uh, behind? Because he was watching the toys. The little boy wanted the toy, but his parents couldn't buy it. Okay, the little uh, boy wanted that toys, but uh, he knew that his parents couldn't buy that. So. They asked him to look at other things. So what did they do? Whenever the child asked them uh, for a toy, he or uh, his parents uh, asking him or saying him to look at other things around him. So his mother showed him the mustard field. Okay. It was the season of mustard field, mustard flowering. Mustard, you know what is a mustard, isn't it? So uh, uh, while they are coming, there are lot of uh, mustard fields in a large area the mustard plants are flowering the field looked gold with it okay the field looked like gold the dragonflies were fluttering over the mustard flowers lot of butterflies and dragonflies are there the child tried to catch one of them okay he ran behind some of the dragon flies and tried to catch it but he was called by his mother but while he was doing that his mother again called him in order to go to the fair he ran gaily towards his parents he ran happily towards his parents he heard the dove cooing he heard the sound of the doves he had picked up the petals in the groove then he took some flowers from grew means group of plants he also ran around the banyan tree he also ran around the banyan tree there was a banyan tree but again he was called by his parents but his parents are walking on so he, he was what attracted by this beauty of nature he was uh, running through the mustard fields running around the banyan tree taking flowers and all okay so his parents again called him soon the child reached the fair soon they uh, reached the fair 
he had a sweet meat seller calling gulab jamun rasagulla barfi jalebi etc okay while uh, he entered into the fair he saw a sweet seller sweet meat seller and he was selling sweets like gulab jamun rasagulla barfi and jalebi the sweet shop was greatly decorated with different sweets there are lot of sweets in his shop seeing the sweets the child's mouth water seeing the sweets the child become very happy his mouth began to water okay uh, water coming in his uh, mouth because uh, seeing the sweets he said i want barfi okay he said to his parents that uh, i want barfi barfi was his favorite sweet but he saying so was unheeded but his parents didn't buy that sweet okay they ignored the demand of the boy the child went ahead with his parents again they were walking he heard a flower selling saying a garland of gulmohar okay again uh, uh, the boy reached near a flower shop okay and uh, the seller was shouting saying what a garland of gulmohar gulmohar is a kind of flower garland means uh, uh using flowers we can make garland okay uh, that we can put on our neck the child went to the flower basket okay he went near the flower basket he wanted a garland but he knew his parents would refuse to buy him that but he knew that when he ask to his parents they will deny that okay they will not buy uh, the garland for he knew that okay so he moved on so he didn't ask his parents then he saw a balloon seller okay then he saw a balloon seller he had balloons of various colors okay different colored balloons are there with him the child knew his parents would not buy him a balloon okay again the child wanted to get a balloon but he didn't say to his parents because he knew that they won't buy it for them for him so he walked on further so he walked from there the child then saw a snake charmer he was playing a flute to a snake then next the child saw a snake charmer okay he was playing flute to a snake he went near the snake charmer but he knew that his parents had had asked him not to hear such music okay when he went near the snake uh, charmer he remembered okay what his parents has already told him what did uh, his parents say to him okay they they have already said to him that such music is not good so do, do not hear such music okay so he went ahead so he didn't stop there he move on move on then he saw a merry go round as yes, next he saw a merry go round men women children etc were enjoying a ride on it then he saw a merry go round and all the people were enjoying a ride on the merry go round roundabout the child called i want to go on the roundabout please father mother Okay, so the child shouted to um, his parents, "What I want to go on the roundabout, please, father, mother." He, he requested, but there was no reply. Okay, but when he asked, shouted to his parents, there came no reply. They were not there. When he looked behind, his parents were not there. The child had been. lost okay the child had been lost he was isolated okay his parents now his parents were not with him a full deep cry rose within the child's deep throat okay there came a cry from his throat he cried mother father he shouted he cried mother father tears rolled down his eyes he began to cry tears began to coming from his eyes he cried and cried and ran to and fro he cried and he ran forward and backward he ran uh, everywhere searching his father and mother 
people laughed and talked he could see a lot of people are there they were laughing they were talking then he ran to a shrine okay shrine means a small temple he ran near a shrine there was a big crowd okay in front of the shrine in front of that small temple there was big crowd the child went a bit ahead between the people's feet they were so crowd and the child very difficult uh, with very difficulty he moved a few steps ahead but he was pushed back but it's, it was a thick crowd and he was pushed back a man heard his cry among the crowds a man among the crowd a man heard his cry he lifted him up in his arms the man took the boy in his arms the man asked the child how he got there okay the man asked him his name and uh, how he become isolated or lost he also asked him the names of his parents the man also asked his parents names but the child only said i want my father okay the child the reply that the man got from the child is i want my father the man took the child to the merry go round okay and asked him if he wanted to ride on the horse then the man uh, took the child to the merry go round to make him calm down to stop his cry and asked him okay do you want to ride on the horse but the child only said that he wanted his mother but the child said okay he do not want to ride on the horse merry go merry go run he only want his uh, mother then the man asked him if he would take a balloon then they reached near the balloon seller and the man asked in order to make uh, in order to stop his cry he asked him do you want a balloon but the child sobbed and sobbed but the child only cried he wanted his father and mother only he said no i don't want a balloon i want my father and mother the man then took the child to the flower seller next they reached the flower seller he asked him if he would like to put a flower garland around his neck do you want a flower garland okay it will be very beautiful if you put that around your neck but the child what did the child do the child turned his nose the child what refused his offer and only said i want my mother and i want my father i don't want a girl and i want my father i want my mother then the, ma the then the man asked him which sweet he would like okay then they reached near the sweet seller okay sweet sweet uh, seller and he asked which is your favorite sweet i will buy it for you the child turned his face okay he only said i want my mother i want my father the child refused that offer too he only said what i want my father i want my mother okay so this is the story the lost child okay so the at the end of the story the child realizes what how important is his uh, how important is uh, his parents okay with the presence of uh parents he demanded so many things okay uh, first he demanded toys then burfi okay sweets balloon uh garland he want to ride on the horse merry go round okay in the presence of his uh parents okay but when they are lost okay when they uh when the child lost from them what uh what he realizes that what uh parents are the valuable things in the world okay so in the absence of parents he does not want anything around him so he realizes how important they are in his life okay that is the important thing for him and all others are what just an attraction or infatuation okay so he do not want he does not want any other things but he only want his father and mother the child realizes that truth at the end okay so this is the story now you read the textbook in detail and enjoy the story okay thank you